Ross is a ponderosa. I tried to build him a just like yours. He's not so big and not so grandiose, but it's still a nice house. Oh, George, a fine house. <laughs> fine. Yeah. And the clothes, they're not so much Italian. Oh, you look like a rich Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Hello, Gina. How are you? <laughs> nice to see you. How are you? This is this is Candy, Candy. This is Gina. Well, hey, everybody, come on, sit down. I want you to taste the wine. Good, oh, good. Oh, I got a fish. I want you all to taste the Vino de Ponderosa, which I name for my friend the Ben Cartwright's uh, ranch. Thank you. With your permission. Oh, of course. Thank you very much. Drink to that. Vino de Ponderosa. Huh? Well, I'm not to finish. <laughs> Now, the second reason I ask you is to tell you that when I live in Italy, I work at the land. The land is not mine. The Baron, who owned the land, he come to me and say, Giorgio, someday you're going to be my best man. No, Giorgio Rossi said, nobody else is a man. I think all the time, inside, I think someday I go to America. I get to my own land, I think. Io sono americano, onorario. That means I'm an honorary Americano. <laughs> I think all the time, America. I dream America. Then, five years ago today, I become American citizen. Ah. <laughs> now you can make applause. <laughs> it's a celebration then. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. still not to finish. To me, the wine is like a mirror of America's heart. I look inside and I see the faces of many friends. I see much hard work and a sorrow, but I also see the future for the world. I see freedom for everybody and trust. And now I come to another reason why I ask you here. Now I return to the trust which my friend Ben Cartwright to give to me when he lend me money for buy the wine press. Hey, is the United States money good in any bank? <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Uh, I'm not finished. <laughs> and now, I want to tell you that this is only the beginning for Giorgio Rossi and the son. We're going to make a wine. Everybody in the whole world are going to know about the Vino de Ponderosa. Well, we'll drink to that. Now we can uh, drink because I finish. I sit down. <laughs> George, oh, there's, uh, there's nothing I can add to what you've already said, except to say that we're all very happy and proud that you're not only a neighbor, but a friend. <laughs> My name is Joe Saban. I bought the trainer outfit. My land borders this place. Why you put the rope on this man? He's no animal. Ask him. He not believe. This man told me I could drink a spring. Did you tell him that, Jordan? I say he can camp and a drink. This is my land and my water. You won't have it long, Mr. Rossi, if you let every ragged reservation jumper that comes along dip into it. What is this uh, reservation of jump? Well, it's someone who stays away from the reservation. There's only one man and one horse. How much can they drink? This one's got a teepee set up. And a squaw and a young'un moved in. There's another brave waiting up on the butte. And he probably wants to move in with a squaw and family. It's still two families, all right. There's still enough of water. That's not the point. The point is, these Indians are off their reservation. You know what that can mean, Mr. Cartwright. Yes, I know. I'll, uh, I'll explain it to Mr. Rossi. Nobody have to explain it to me. It's my land and my water. The Indians, they stay on my land. It's all right, Red Sky. You can go. Go back to your wife and the family. You stay on the land. Drink the water. And you. You, you know, like trouble. I'm 
the United States a citizen and no more rights, you know who's going to get off of my land? You! So mad. He tie up my friend of the Indian like an animal. They're making me lose my appetite. They spoiled the old fest. I can't eat. You lose your appetite too. What happened to the Indian? It was a bad thing. Come on, eat, uh, Giorgio. to the Indians, how they say. <laughs> They're very happy, huh? <laughs> Make me very happy, too. I got a single for you. Libiamo, libiamo, libiamo. La, 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 don't uh, stick around too long, make it test yourself. I'll, I'll be right along. Thank Bye -bye. you. Good night, Hodge. Good night, Jones. He's a nicer boy, this Candido. Look how nice they look together. Come see, come I think it's time Regina get married. Oh, que far? What for? What's a hurry? <laughs> Sorry. Why? Well, <laughs> I don't know. You talk fine when you talk about horses and cows and Indians. If you like me, it's no reason to be sorry. Well, it's... Just that you're different. From a horse or a cow? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Do you know our Italian custom? No. We don't take our feelings lightly. Neither do I, Regina. I think I will never get used to the, the bigness, the cruelty I see here. Maybe I will never belong to this life. There is cruelty here, yes. 
Regina, look at the sky. It's big and black and empty, right? Well, there's another way of looking at it. It can be like a warm blanket on a cold night. There is gentleness here if you look for it. Uh, Regina. I have to get up early in the morning. And tomorrow I go see the Indians. Is it time we go to bed? Yes, Papa. Candy, maybe you better go with Papa. Sometimes he doesn't understand so good. Sure. I'll go with you, Mr. Rossi. Maybe I can be of some help. Help? <laughs> Thank you. I don't need the help. <laughs> you can come if you like. Thank you. Night, Candy, darling. Good night, Miss Rossi. Regina. Friends, they come visit them, man. Eh? Yahweh, Ika Kimowaki. No, oh, no, that's his family. Oh. Yahweh, Iwawapaki. What did he say? That's guy prays to the great spirit of the sea, land, and sky. Yahweh, yes, Iwelolaki. Send gentle winds and rains that fall softly. It's beautiful. Red sky is a beautiful prayer. Is it just like a poem? And don't you worry. I'm your brother. You stay long as you like. Nishaninati. Tebele tanagua. Lokwachi. Yes, your piege. Pijo pi. Use of the water. You stay on the land. Why, brother? Speaks good words. His land. Our land. That's right. The United States is a big country. There's a plenty of land for everybody. Kihaya chimabe. Kikonena. Now, what's he say? Uh, he says your kindness will become a legend. Who? Hmm? Kikonena. Well, what is that? He's given you an Indian name. What he called me? White man who gave us the land. Ma, read the sky, non capisci. Ma come si dice? Uh, red the sky, you, you misunderstand. You see, when I say you stay on the land, then I mean you use the land. We use land, you see. Yeah. There's nothing to worry about, you see. They're just going to use them with the land. So, well, see, they don't intend to use the land. They think you've given it to them. Oh. This is seed. We will plant seeds in land. Use land. Grow food. See, it's a, it's a seed. Semi <laughs> Grand Turco is a corn seed. <laughs> you know how to plant the corn? I plant. Ma, not like a Giorgio Rossi. Giorgio Rossi is a farmer. You see these Rossi, hands? They... These are hands that they handed the farmer. <laughs> My father is a farmer before me, and before him, his father was a farmer. Ma, come, everybody, you come. George Rossi gonna show you how to plant the corn. Come on, come on. Must make 
a nice and deep hole. Hard and dirty. Then you push him in one seed. Not too deep, because you push him in too deep, there's no grow. Huh? Maybe it's a rock. It's too high, then it's a dry out, you know? And you make a little mound of dirt. Then you push him in another one away. Push him in another one. So on and so on and so on. Huh? You understand? You got a question? Why question? Indians show white men how to plant corn long time ago. Uh, see, well, I forget. Please excuse me, but uh, I have to go water the grapes. <laughs> I see you later, my brother. <laughs> brother, <and> sister. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Posso dormire? All right, we talk if you can sleep. Vieni, vieni un po' qua vicino a me. Yeah, I, I think about the red sky. I think about his family, his people. How can I tell them to get off of the land? You talk good American. You just to say please, e loro se andranno. No, 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 non capisci. I make a mistake. Now the Indians, they think the land belongs to them. Belong to them? Ma come? Is it the place for the white grapes? Si! I can't tell them to get off the land. I think... Uh, I remember when Ben Carter right, he said to us, we have to get off the land. <laughs> I say to him, I'm American citizen, I know my rights. United States is a bigger country. There's a plenty of land for everybody. I got a right to stay here. Red the sky. Is American a citizen? Uh, is American a citizen even before me? Now, if it's a right for Giorgio Rossi, American a citizen, why is it no right for Red the sky, American a citizen? Illogical, no? Oh, Giorgio. In the whole world, there's no one like you. See, si, Giorgio Rossi is stupid. No, you smart. Zito. Look, Giorgio. This is a big country. There's lots of land, lots of other places. See, si. Ma testerura. Why I not think of this before? Ben Cartwright. Mm. He got lots of places. Dunque, non ci pensare più e vieni a dormire, vai, su. Vieni a dormire, caro, su. So, all of a sudden, Mr. Rossi's got urgent business with his grip. So, no, away we go. Try to try to teach an American Indian how to plant corn. The minute he saw this, easy clean forgot what we came for. Oh, once a farmer, always a farmer. Oh, good one. <laughs> I bring you some wine. Oh, I bring you a message. Regina, she says, say hello. I say something funny? No, no. Boys, go on back to work. I want to talk to Georgia. <laughs> nice to see you all again. Hostess. Not even broken. Bye. Giorgio, you try to teach an Indian how to plant corn. He's like me trying to teach you how to plant grapes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I make a little mistake. <laughs> yes, you did. You went up there to get Red Sky back to the reservation. And you wound up inviting him to stay. Well, it's no right to just to go in and tell a man he must leave. I have to have time to think. And what did you think? I. I make a mistake, another mistake. <laughs> I forget all about it. I bring you wine. Vino de Panderos, I know all for you. <laughs> and migliore de vino tutto il mondo. We'll have some Vino de Panderos a little later. I want to know what you have been thinking, Giorgio. Well, I, I think that the Indians, maybe they don't have to leave 
if they have some land of their own. Uh, but, but I only have a little bit of land. Giorgio. Even if I give them a little bit of my little piece, it's still not going to be enough. Giorgio, I but you, you understand. got the more land than you can I... account. You want me to give them some of my land? Benny, you've been thinking the same thing. I've been trying to tell you this and get this through your head. It isn't what you would like to see happen. It isn't what I would like to see happen. It's what the United States government says must, must happen. Now, they have signed a treaty with the Indians. The Indians live in some land given them by the government. This land is the reservation where they live, and they must live on that or there can be serious consequences. What kind of a treaty is it says that the people got to go someplace where they don't want to go? This treaty has become a law. And we must obey the law, Jojo. You will admit to that? The law, he don't tell me what I got to do with my land. The man is a hungry. You want me to say to him, I don't want you to be hungry over here. I want you to be hungry someplace else. Now, now, Jojo, of course I agree with you. You know that I do. It's, it's just that I know what I'm talking about. Now, it, the longer you take to get Red Sky to go back to the reservation, the worse it's going to be for his family and the more dangerous. Now, believe me. If you don't want to talk to him, I'll be very glad to go up. But why, why you got to talk? I can't talk for myself. Well, I didn't say that you couldn't talk for no, yourself. No, I'm going to tell you something. Red Sky make me his brother. Nobody tell George Rossi his brother going to go, he's going to stay. Except the George Rossi. Lorenzo and the Regina. They're coming. Don't hit the wall with the chair. When we're going to have a meeting, it's very important everybody's on time. In fact, it's very un American to be late. You hit the wall. Ah, sit down. We're going to have an exercise in a democracy. Hey, Papa, I was. Sit. Set. Now, in a democracy, the biggest number is always right. So we're going to have a meeting. First you talk, then I talk, then we vote. Don't hit the wall. Now, Ben Cartwright, he's a very good friend, eh? He's also a very smart man. He says that we should send the Indians back to the reservation. I say we should let them stay. Just a few weeks, maybe. You're the father. We do what you say. But it's not the American way. First we talk, then we vote. Candy says that he... Candy says? Hey, who care what the Candy say? He's no member of the family. I think maybe you can't make up your mind because you... I can't make up my mind. Hey, I make up my mind very good. <laughs> How you think I raise a family can make up my mind? You ever raise a family? All right, Regina, now you talk. You don't listen. Who don't listen? Hey, I listen very good. I just know I can listen to what the candy says. Number one, you're going to tell the Indians to go, no? See. Si. Well, you put it off. So they think they can stay, no? See. Si. Candy says that you shouldn't put it off. Again, what the candy says. How many times I tell you no one to hear what the candy says? No more. You want us to say what we think, but only if we think the way you do. You never let us finish talking. You stop Lorenzo, you stop me. Hey, hey. You don't talk like that to your papa. No, 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 let her talk. That's the American way. I just want to remember what she say. 
I don't want to hear no more about what the candy says. And one more thing. You still not too big for me to push you over my knee upside down? Oh, come on, please, Papa. Non incominciare, vai. No, no, no. I just don't like to hear her say a Papa's a tyrant. Maybe you like this candy too much, huh? Maybe you like to have him take care of you, put a roof over your head, take care of you when you're sick. No, that was a fuel. Regina! Vieni qua! Regina! Regina! Vieni qua! Yeah, he's really a fine figure of a man, isn't he, Hoss? Yeah, yeah, he is. He's, he's just rugged enough to keep from being pretty. <laughs> Have your fun, boys. I'm having mine. Well, Candy, I know you appreciate the fact that Regina is something very special. I was paying a call on the girl, Mr. Carlyle. I'm not courting her. Oh, yeah, but that, that's just the way it starts out. And you get over there and you get to looking in them big brown eyes and then <laughs> the trap springs. Wrong. Oh, everything is wrong. I don't live in that house anymore. He hates me. He hates you, too. Like I'm five years old, he treats me. Well, no more. La commedia finita. I won't go back. I won't. Well, well simmer down now, Regina. What, uh, let's sort this out. You hate me also. Regina, nobody hates you. Oh, Candy. You love me, Candy. Only you. I work for you. I scrub the floors, I cook, I sew, anything. Maybe in the beginning we don't have so much. Yeah, but... Oh, but look, Ozzy, he's speechless with joy. <laughs> Other young married people have less to start. Isn't it so, Mr. Cartwright? Well, Regina, I think before people get married, they should get to know each other quite well, and marriage isn't based on economic problems. But I love candy very much. You do? Of course I do. No me importa se la vita sarà dura. We love each other. Um, uh, Regina? Uh, Regina? Look, oh dear, why don't we, uh, why don't you stay here overnight? And then we can talk about this sensibly in the morning, huh? Come on, run along. That's right. Say, Hoss, that the boy has a lot more charm than we ever gave him credit for. Yeah, all wasted. Very funny, very funny. <laughs> hey, you know, you know that, that little cave up on the hill where we used to play? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, with a, with a feminine touch, that, that could be awfully home. No, Joe, it's just not funny anymore. It's just not funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fellas, all right. Now, Joseph, I want you to ride over to the Rossies and tell them that Regina's here. They're probably worried about her. And tell them that We'll look after it real good until the smoke clears. Right. Hey, uh, you know, Candy, maybe you ought to run up there and kind of calm her down. Hoss, you think you might make some coffee for all of us, huh? Yes, sir. Mm, a whole bottle of Brooks Young Blue. Mm.
Why you do that? You always put Indian on a rope. Your Indian was as good a way as any to get him here. He's my Indian. See, I, he live on my land. But you still not tell me why you have to always tie Indian up with a rope. Don't think I could have got him here any other way. Alive. You see, I caught him killing one of my steers. Non è possibile. I don't believe. Ask him. Is it true? Did you kill a steer? Hungry. Squall hungry. Oh, Dio mio, Maria. Sì, Nostri amici sono e fame. Oh, poveretto. Diamogli qualche cosa a noi. Abbiamo tanta grazia di Dio. Adesso ci penso ah. io, eh? I've been through this, Mr. Rossi. Back in the Dakota Territory. Indians moved in, more Indians followed. They had to steal to eat. And that started the fighting. Bad fighting, Mr. Rossi. People were killed on both sides. I don't want that to happen here. We are kind of responsible, Mr. Sabin. We will pay for this steer if the Indian can have it. That's a good thought, son. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I'm the father. I make the bargains here, eh? How much do you want for your steer, Mr. Sabin? Twenty-five dollars. Then the chingo. That's a fair price, Papa. I decided the fair price. I make the money. I spend the money. You spend your own money. I have no money. Uh, ecco, questa è, è un sacco di farina di Gran Turco. Prendetela. Potrete farvi tanta polenta e levarvi tutta la fame. Ce n'è per voi e per tutta la vostra famiglia. Povera gente. Uh, get your women down there. Take home that beef. Go on. Tell you what, Mr. Rossi, I'll split the price with you. Split the price? What do you think, I'm a poor man? Huh? You think I can't afford Indians? Huh? Hey. Uh, hey. How much for the next one, Mr. Sabin? No price for the next one, son. Oh, you mean the next one that she's for free, huh? If there is another one, I'll do what every man has to do when his property is threatened. Oh? Uh -huh. I'll fight. Three. Oh, no, 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 now, can't you get it through your head? You are wrong. <clears throat> Mr. Saban is trying to explain to you the Indians can't help it. Now, if they don't go back to that reservation, they're going to cause trouble. Mr. Saban, it causes trouble. The Indians are hungry. Now, you've got to tell them to oh, go. I got to. Go where they can what find kind of food to keep them alive. alive. Papa, what to do? Oh, that's my head. Yell. Yell. Hit me. No, George. Basta adesso. Not even that, Lorenzo, no, no. Vergognati, va! E sta a sentire tuo figlio qualche volta! Chiaccarone! Una bocca! Mi sembra una pentola che bolle! E falla finita qualche volta! It's a question of balance. Only women know these things. Uh, that chair belongs there, yes. Uh, no. Turn the table just a little. There, there, that's it, that's it. Now, you see? You see what a difference a woman's touch can make. Oh, we'll have a beautiful home, Candy. I'll get the door. That is, if it hasn't been moved. Mr. Cartwright? I have come to work for you. Lorenzo! It is good, Lorenzo. When Candy and I are married and we have a house, you can come and live with us. Yes? Don't you see? It's your children's clothes. 
children who don't live here no more. Elfar. You want them to go without clean clothes just to because they don't live here no more? Huh? I teach my children to be clean, so I send them clean clothes. Oh, but they're gonna come back. Oh, yeah? When? Show me. Look out the window. You see them coming back? No, they don't come back. Because their father sent my children away. I mi figlio è cacciato. Ma calma, ma calma. 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 Ma I'm here about Indians. Indians? Yes. I'm the government land manager and Indian agent, and I've just learned that you have Indians on your land. See, I have Indians on my land. Did you give them the land? No, no, I, I don't give them. I just to let them stay. That's good. You see, the government has a treaty with these Indians, and they're not supposed to leave their reservation. But they will leave it if anybody gives them property outside of the reservation. I'm sick and tired, Mr. Kettle. Everybody's telling me what to do with my land. The Indians, they have a right to stay on the land, and now you leave. Mr. Rossi, it's the law. I didn't make the law, but it's part of my job to enforce it. It's a bad law. Change him. Mr. Rossi, the federal troops will move in and take them off unless you send them back. Mr. Kettle, the Indians are going to stay on the land. Goodbye. George, why you be like that? Why you don't listen to the man? Why are you so hard-headed? Listen to the other people too sometimes. Ma lo sai che c'è il testone? Il testone dalla forza di cento cavalli. Anche i tuoi figli hanno cento. So one chicken. One chicken? A Plymouth Bard Rock? Ma come? I sent by stagecoach for the eggs. I hatched the eggs with a lamp. I raised the little chicks. E dopo tutto questo me le devo anche lasciar rubare? She's a little girl. A family, they're hungry, eh? Hungry? Ti fame? Oh, ma sto diventando. Pigliate la cara, anche se vuoi delle uova, anche pigliale. Oh, povera creatura. But in English, huh? No, it's not just the chicken, it's my children too. Lorenzo, Regina, the God, I can live like this. Why? Why you? Tu sei la colpa. Mia? Sì, tu ha. Tutta colpa. Perché sempre mia? Perché rabbi sempre urli con te. Perché è colpa mia? Non ho mai detto una parola sua. Do you speak English, eh? 
Why always everybody tell you what to do, huh? Now she ought to tell me what to do! I decide what to do about the Indians, huh? I decide what's the right and the wrong! Lorenzo, this is the way I raise my son, huh? You tell your papa what to do, huh? You talk back to your papa. Why you always have to tell me, can they say this, can they say that? Don't you know you papa love you? He's a tiny in the family. They raise it to respect the papa. Why you not can do that? Good husband, man. Eh? Let me build you a beautiful house. What I do wrong? Let me buy you food. Let me make it nice. <laughs> what I got. <laughs> And then, the kitchen is no place for a man. But it's Mr. Carlyle, like, she come into my kitchen, she tastes that this is no good, she tastes that is no good, all the time come into my kitchen. I quit, mm. I quit. Ah, si, 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 si. No mandi pure a lavar le camicie, si rari coletti. Alla cucina ci penso io. Vedrà che mi pranzetti li farò. Alla cucina ci penso io. Vedrà, vedrà che mi pranzetti li preparerò. Well, what the... It's like you got a little bit of a diplomatic problem on your hands, know it? Well, I sure hope the plan I have in mind works out. If it does, this will work out, too. Yeah, well, in the meantime, what do we eat? Sweet and sour pizza. Miseria. Miserable. Basta, finita la commedia. Giorgio Rossi, you're just like a woman, you can make up your mind. Eh, 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 eh. You gotta do something about it. You gotta do something now. You gotta do something right now. Eh. Well, I came as soon as I got your note. Sorry it took so long. Well, government red tape, what do you expect? Well, no harm has been done. Rossi's Indians haven't got into any real bad trouble. Now, thanks to you, I can put them where they belong. Oh, are you free to go? Yes, just as soon as you can get there.
Good day, my brother. Good day. Judge Yeros is a coming to tell you that the makeup is mine. I give you this land. I want you to use it. I'm American a citizen. I can give to another American a citizen. I know my rights is a free country. Well, what is going on here? We move. Go to our son. Why? Ma, I bring you food. You don't have to steal it no more. Ma, and when you eat them up, you let me know I bring you more. But I want you to stay on the land. I help you. I help you plant the grapes, even if you want. I help you plant the more corn. Please, you stay. Man, no much good for corn. Oh, no, I see what is going on. Oh, Ben Nakati, right, you come onto my land, huh? You tell them my Indians, they have to go back to the reservation? The reservation is like a jail. Now, Giorgio, hold on now. They're not going back to the same reservation. Not the same? Ma, what do you mean? Well, uh... Well, Sam Kettler and I have persuaded the, the land bureau that they, uh, they should add a, another parcel of land to the reservation. A new piece of government land, the, the Crow Lake area. That way they'll have the whole lake, all that bottom land, and, well, plenty of fresh water and sweet grass and all that good game. I know land. Good place. We like to live there. We stay. Don't come here again. Is this true? Yeah. <laughs> That's God bless you. But take the food, the red sky. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. A salut. 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 And now, I have an announcement to make about my daughter, Regina. Oh, no. Uh, no, no, Papa. No? no? Why not? I changed my mind. I come in my again. Uh, I mean, is it three times you change your mind? But if I... What's the matter? Candy's a good man, but not like Italian boy. I better wait for Italian. <laughs> now, I want to thank my friend Ben Cartwright for what he do for my Indians. <laughs> and what he do for me. <laughs> George Rossi always get in a fix, and Ben Cartwright, he get him out. <laughs> so I want to tell you, from now on, George Rossi is a change man. No more fix. <laughs> For this, I drink it to myself. <laughs> well, uh, in that case, I would like to say something. I would like to drink to Giorgio Rossi. But Giorgio Rossi must remain always as he is. Here, here. Here, here. Chicken cacciatore. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>